Guys, you are now watching a clip from the Fellas podcast. You can listen to the full podcast exclusively on Spotify for free. So make sure to head over there, leave us a five-star rating if you enjoyed, and follow the podcast. Well, this is actually how I first heard about you guys. Right. Was okay. the, the catfish scandal. Yeah. Now, this one, this, this was mega. And from what I heard right now, we're, we're in close contact with Spotify, and we always want to make sure we are the fucking number one show. Mm. But unfortunately, around a certain time of year... You guys had some fucking shit story that has gone and taken our number one spot. And I, my sister lives in Ireland. Okay. And I said, have you heard about this story? Yeah. And she says, it's all anybody fucking talks about. You took over an entire nation's attention about the time you got catfished. I still don't know the story about it. Johnny's so, horn. Yeah. Got us the greatest piece horn. of content of yeah. all time. Yeah. This is, I mean, you guys made it into like a fucking three-part series or something. Well, like that. so... Long story short, yeah, I um, got talking to a girl last Christmas on Instagram. She was from like an hour away near Limerick, played like traditional Irish music. Is that a bit of you? I was, oh, I was yeah. that was turned on straight away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And all, and then um, into like the get like football and stuff, and uh, had like fifteen thousand followers. Really good looking girl. Fifteen thousand f- followed by. A lot of people I knew, okay, like followed by like you know players, not like in the like New York sense of the word. I mean like like <laughs> football players, right, yeah. right, right. Followed by like women who worked in sport. Followed by like professional female athletes. Okay, so she had a bit of a reputation. Hundred percent. Followed her, and then one night have a couple of drinks. Replied to her story. Got chatting. After like a week, got the the number. We we're texting on WhatsApp, and then I was like, oh, we this like. Well, what are we doing here? Let's fucking meet for coffee. Let's go for a walk. Whatever. So uh, we're on. The, yeah, we're on the. I'm, I'm, a coffee. I'm yeah. on the way. I was going to open a few drawers. I'm on the way, <laughs> and uh, she rings and is like, "My aunt just died." Hmm. And so I'm halfway to Limerick in the car, and I'm like, "Well, sorry to hear. Sorry, like, what do you say?" Yeah, I'm like, "I'm on fucking horn." What do we do? No, no. Yeah. Like, so, so sorry to hear that. And then I went on her Instagram and she had it on her story, a photograph of her and her aunt being like, RIP fucking yeah. Mary or whatever her name was, been like the best aunt ever, a load of stories, all that shit. And then, so a week later, it was like a bit of text and I was like, all right, let's meet up. She got COVID. This was back when COVID was yeah. a big deal. So I says, well, right, well, people get COVID, she's got to isolate or whatever. So then we were out in Dublin and she's like, oh, my, my seven days, my isolation is up. I'm out, I'm out in Dublin. Buzzing. The I'll, horn is back. The horn is back. <laughs> uh, barking and howling. And <laughs> howling. Like this, back to the future, good, episode man. three. I'm kind of bricked up thinking yeah. about it. <laughs> let it out, Talk let, to me, man. So we're out, me and Johnny and a friend of ours. And we go to like this real busy uh, part of town. And uh, she's like, oh, we're here. We're in this pub. We're in Ryan's. So we go in and she's always talking about her friend. And in the podcast, we call her Nikki. She's always talking about, oh, I live with my friend Nikki. And she's like, I didn't really know you guys, but my friend Nikki's a big fan. And then Nikki would message me on Instagram of her own profile as well. i like, can't believe you're talking to my friend Cora. This is hilarious. Like, I love you guys. I'm telling her to listen to your podcast and all. And Nikki is going out with the guy who plays uh, Gaelic football at like a, a good level. He's like yeah. a well-known guy. Yeah. And they're going out and like, we've met him. He's real, like 100%. And then we go to the bar and it's like so busy. It's crazy busy. Can't find her. And we're like, fuck this shit. So we get out of there. Next morning, she's messaging, ringing, being like, fucking so sorry I couldn't meet you last night. We were gone drunk. So she, you spoke to her on the phone. It wasn't oh, yeah, just yeah, text. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she rang and was like, so sorry about last night. It was crazy. I lost you. Like, big, it's a big club, like coppers. Yeah, I couldn't yeah. find you, right? It was no worries. So then I'm on the way home and I'm like, I'm sick of this, Johnny. Like, drop me to her house. I need to meet her now. We're putting this, we're like, figuratively putting this to bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm going to meet her and we're either going to get on or we're not because this is dragging on now. There's only so long you can text somebody yeah, yeah. and it's like, well, this is going nowhere. So we go around to the house and her friend Nikki is there and we go, oh, hey, how's it going? And her housemates. And I meet them, we're having a chat. And they're probably like, that's fucking your man. Oh, that's who Johnny's like. Like we're well known in Ireland, yeah, like yeah, yeah, TV yeah, show yeah. and shit. People are like, that's fucking your man. So then she's like, oh, Cora's just gone to the shop. We're gonna have breakfast. She's just gone to the shop. What the fuck? So I sit down at the kitchen table and I'm like, all right, well, he's gone home and it's like two hour drive to get home. Yeah. So we're in Dublin. So I'm like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll hang on. And then after a while, she's like, look, I, I'm, I'm cooking food. You want some? I'm like, yeah, I'm starving. I'll have some to eat. And then as I'm eating like a full fry up, it occurs to me, 
if I'm eating this, why has she gone to the shop? What does yeah. she need that yeah. isn't on my plate? So then after like 30 minutes, I'm like, where the fuck is your one I'm supposed to be meeting? Where's Cora? So I said it to her, her friend, Nikki. I was like, I'm, I'm just going to go. I'll get like a taxi to the bus station and get a bus home, whatever. And she's like, no, no, no. I'll drive you home because I'm going visiting my boyfriend who's like kind of down your direction. And I'm like, okay, fine. I need a lift home. I'm dying from the drink. Yeah. She gives me the lift home the whole way, two hours, drops me home. There's Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. Yeah, right. Then. So did, were you asking Nikki questions where, where's, about. Where's Cora? Were you yeah. just asking about what she like? like yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. But like, so Cora would be sending me voice notes and videos from the house being like, oh, we're having a party. They're after putting on one of your songs. It's right. really funny. Right, right, right. Like the girls are delighted that yeah. I'm talking to you, all this like. Even right? though Cora would never be in the videos. Never in it, just a POV. Yeah, yeah. POV. You see the horn, the horn doesn't have eyes. Like a shoot yeah, em, I see that. A shoot em up game. Like a shoot em up game, you know what I mean? This is a good story, I'm glad this happened to I'm you. In yeah. I'm so, yeah, this so, uh, it dropped me home and then I went out to Johnny's gaff and we're like, look, do you know what? I've actually never really like creeped on her Instagram too hard. I'm going to start going through all her photos and she had videos up going back years of like her out in America on like a, a student summer J1 holiday where she's at games and she's tagging the people who were playing, they're commenting back. Like it's got layers. She's tagged in photos of other people and I heard that girl is going out with that guy. So then we really delved into it and it's like, man, the whole thing is fake. She's fake. Like, so th there's, there's Cora. Commenting on her video is like Mr. Stella, who's a real guy. Okay. She was having multiple conversations with real people in the comment section. Right. And with fake people. So when I said to her on the phone, I was like, I said, she rang me, uh, I rang Cora and I was like, Cora, you are Nikki. Why are you doing this? Like you are, it's a whole fake profile. What the fuck? And she's like, no, I'm not. What are you talking about? <sighs> so it turns out. Well, uh, the first thing I did was I rang Johnny and I rang all our, we have a WhatsApp group of like six, seven yeah. guys, our close yeah. mates. And I was like, you have to come in. I need to tell you. So, I mean, I was a little bit embarrassed, but at the same time, nah, that's it's best to talk about sick. it just to get it out. So she had about 10 fake profiles that were like really active that looked really good. And then they would all message me being like, Cora had to run home. Her sister is sick and her phone died. You're a fucking dickhead for not texting her back. Like she's in hospital now. She's not well. What All this shit. Fuck? Yeah. And then I when I put out when we put out the episode and I told the first story, the amount of people who got in touch. So it turns out she had catfished. Honestly, I reckon about two hundred guys. What? Every guy we were showing you, GA who plays hurling and football. Nearly every guy has a story. There was a big, a big team in Ireland, a successful team, who had five guys off the team were talking to her at the same time. And it's no, Cora. Yeah, yeah. And nobody wanted to come into the dressing room and say, I've hey, been catfished. I've been catfished. So because nobody would put their hand up and say it happened to me, she was able to keep doing it. And it turned out she'd been doing it for about 12 years. What the <gasps> fuck? Holy shit. Shit. Professional sports people across multiple genres. Guys off television, music, everyone. Like famous. It, so, so, it, so it's this Nikki person all along, right? Yeah, mm. and she had multiple profiles. Like back in 2010, she was doing it off a profile called Hannah Ferguson. It was in Northern Ireland and was like catfished like a professional boxer and a singer. And then uh, she went to college in a different <clears> country <throat> and catfished guys over there. And then she'd have a new profile um, I can't even think, but she had like four main profiles that like did most of the damage. Yeah. Who were like, Emma McCarran was not a good one. And it turned out that the girls whose images she was using were a circle of friends in England. So that's how yeah. she would rob. So she would be able to tag other people yes. in her photos because yeah. she just had yeah. this friendship group. She robbed an, ent an entire friendship circle from another Holy country shit. and made up new profiles of all of them and they'd all comment on each other's photos and tag each other. Have you got have a screenshot of the original? I want to see the account. Well, I don't, I don't want to put it on camera. But oh, right. Well, we show us after. Show us yeah, after. Yeah. When you were speaking to her on the phone, <clears throat> did you not recognize Nikki's voice when you met her? Fair point. So she had a way of like changing her voice ever so slightly. So yeah. uh, Cora had an interesting backstory in that her mom was from Monaghan, which is like in Ulster. 
and her dad was from Limerick, which is kind of down near where we are. And then she lived in Monaghan until she was 10, moved to Limerick from 10 to 18, then went to college in Scotland for three years studying dance, and then moved back to Ireland and had been in London. So her accent was a bit of a mishmash. Yeah, I can relate. And how do you say that to a girl like, you know, it's like yeah. her, like you have a mad accent. Yeah. And then Nikki in real life had a kind of a straighter accent. So she just had a way of, of kind tweaking of tweaking it a bit. Just tweaking it a little bit. But when I saw, I went on Nikki's um, Instagram and it was a video of her out one night, drunk, like with her mates. And I was like, that's it, that's the voice. Because if you can imagine, I'd only ever spoken to Cora over the phone. Yeah. Mm. And people sound slightly different over the phone. Yeah. You know, like yeah, yeah, you don't yeah, get the yeah, bass yeah, and yeah, the voice yeah, yeah. and all. So it was fucking weird. Um, and we had a, we're saying we had like um, Zoom calls with the people who made the Tinder swindler. Yeah. So you said this on the show, actually. So what Netflix had reached out to you. Yeah, but we're not going to do it because if Nikki, did, we won't do it without Nikki. She, uh, she has to tell her side of the story. Otherwise, it's just a witch hunt. Us on us. Yeah. yeah. Mm. She's not going to do it okay, yeah. she, because it just makes her look awful. Yeah. What, 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 if, what, even if they would like blur her face and, and whatever? Yeah, they, yeah. Off, they offered that they to offered her. They offered that, yeah. yeah she, doesn't want she still didn't want to do yeah. it. Which is up to her. <clears throat> yeah. And oh my God. That now would that, would be, that would do Holy serious yeah. numbers. But that. it is a tricky one in Ireland because like... Because people must know who this person is now. Yeah, the world is a small place. Yeah, that's why, yeah, especially yeah. in Ireland as well. But we don't, we didn't want any, any negativity on her. Like, mm. we just wanted her to stop doing it. Yeah. But, like, she is catfished, like, policemen. Loads of people. Like, yeah. famous singers, TV yeah. presenters, sports They've people. They've got this wrong, but did someone at one of your shows say, those are photos of me? <laughs> yeah, so we, I first told the story live at the Tree Arena last April. And then that night, we got an email being like, so I quickly put up on screen the photo of the girl I, I thought I was talking to. Yeah. The Cora photo. the actual photo, like yeah. the real ones. Yeah. The Cora yeah, yeah. photo. Yeah. Who yeah. was actually a, um, an English girl. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But who didn't know her, yeah. her photos were being used. And uh, we got an email that night being like, that was my photo on screen. My name is like fucking Mary or whatever. Um, I'm wearing. So you had the real Cora, t technically. Well, or so we... She emailed us that night being like, my name is Mwirn. Yeah. That's my photo. I was in the crowd. People were like slagging me. Please don't use that photo again. Another fake account. Oh, fuck, man. This, this so right. Nikki, Nikki was at the show. Nikki was at the gig. <sighs> because she did not know that we were going to tell the catfish story. Yeah. Wow. Oh my God, yo. This is fucking crazy. Cray, cray. Yeah. Crazy. <laughs> Now I know why this fucking episode bangs. Yeah, yeah. All right, you can this have it. You can have story. it. <laughs> You've got to. Oh. You got to listen to Catfish Part One and Two. There, yeah. is, there is no Part Three. Oh, okay. And yeah. I don't think there ever will be. We're kind of. We want to put it like let let it go. But it was a crazy. So, so my main thing out of it is yeah. that I think all social media should be verified. Everyone should have a blue tick. Yeah, uh, uh, an ID to it. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah. So well, that, the Nikki girl, you must have like had some confrontation with her or something. something no, did you confront her about about it? About it? Like, was just there a moment on, just on, on, on the, the phone, phone? Yeah, rang her. And, but did she go like you? Know, she denied it to begin with. She but, but did, no. did she? Had she ever admitted to it? No, she never Whoa. admitted it. And then that day, that Sunday after, like I rang her and um, me and Johnny were talking about it. I just yeah. I blocked her. <laughs> deleted all the messages yeah. which I kind of regret now for content but look yeah. you need to move on and forget about it and um, so wait, were you actually like, obviously you were a bit bit hurt by the situation because you, you had been catfished by it yeah. but looking like for me I look back I, I would look back on that just like what a fucking roller coaster yeah. like that is like yeah mm. I mean at the time so I, I was going out with a girl and then we broke up and then a couple of months later it was the first person I had been texting. Oh, so that's tough. <laughs> and like, you know, I'm in my 30s. It's like, fucking hell, dating is hard. Yeah. You know, it's like, so for a week or two, I was like sad about the whole thing. But then you fucking pick yourself up. I have a girlfriend now who's amazing. Yeah. And I hate to say it, but she's better looking than Cora. Uh, you know, yeah, so, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so it all worked out. But like, um, yeah, the, the main thing was just come out and tell the story because that's how she kept getting away with it is because no guy... Wow. Was ever going to come out and be like... this? Yeah, yeah. I've been catfished. And then the newspapers wow. in Ireland were so coy about it. We kept getting phone calls from our solicitor being like, they want to run this, but they don't know what to do. Is this true? Is that true? Right. Oh. So they... Because I can imagine that would have that would have hit the news pretty, pretty big time over there, right? Yeah. And like nobody has any ill will towards 
the girl who was doing it. Like, you know, we, she's hopefully, we hope that she's okay. Yeah, yeah, of she's course, of course. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah. Well, we did get several solicitor's letters. <laughs> Re- what, from her just saying like, stop telling this story type thing. Mm. I suppose, yeah, I mean, you try everything really to, to, to stop the story going out. You can't really yeah. blame her for that, but wow. 